Previously on Super Mario Fallout. No, please don't do this. By the powers invested in me by the new California Republic, I hereby authorize these agents of the justice system to collect unlawful bounties. Over here. No. Oh my god, no. And now you're pretty much caught up. Hello, welcome to Super Mario Fallout. I'm Kyle. I'm Gira. And we left off after Marco massacred the entire town of Frost Hill. Yeah, and we did find a way to fix this glitch cutscene. We have to console command it. It turns out this mod actually has a, an incompatibility with animation replacer mods, and that's what's causing this scene to mess up. Ah, uh, yep. But we'll make do with it, so uh, I guess we'll just unpause and see what happens. Randall, Randall, Randall. You came so far only to taste the bitterness of defeat again. Deep down, you knew it would end this way. Ford, you were quite eager to betray Mr. Randall. Why don't you do the honors? Ford. Oh, you fucker. I never crap. trusted him. <sighs> I'm resigned to the fact that I'll have to do everything myself. I thought maybe we could temper him. Okay, you're going to have to unplug the controller. This is the part that glitches out. Okay. Okay, essentially what's supposed to happen is they kill Randall. And it's glitching up and not actually doing it, so we have to do it to get the thing to go along. But really, it's not us doing it, it's them. You son of a bitch! Now, what are we going to do with you? I could put a round in your head, make it quick, clean. Then again, that's been tried. I don't fear failure so much as being unoriginal. No, I've got something better in mind. You ever hear of stories of drunks being buried alive? Since you're not in a position to speak, I'll take your indignant squinting as a yes. So I'll continue. When a man is buried alive in, say, a coffin, he might have thirty minutes or so to live. Trust me, I know. I've seen it firsthand. It's one heck of an interrogation technique. Acting like you're burying them. I leave them down there for a bit, then pull them up. They always come up gasping. A few even lose their minds in that short span. I guess it's the darkness. And the noise. Imagine, your breathing is strained, dust fills your mouth and eyes, and you hear the weight of earth shifting above you. It's inexorable death. That's why I saved you for last. I want you to feel that terror as you dwell on what transpired here tonight. How you were beaten. No matter how hard you are, the terror will take you eventually. In that moment, when you're wishing for it all to end, just remember. I was the one man who beat you. And that's what people will remember, what they'll say for years to come. It isn't just your body that I'm bearing tonight. It's your legend. Fucker. Hey boss, you sure you don't want me to shoot him first? No, I want the courier to suffer to the last. You hear that, friend? Of course you can, even with that hood on. Is the coffin comfy? Just so you know, I'm putting you in an unmarked grave in the middle of nowhere. From a legal standpoint, you will have simply vanished. You're going to be just another anonymous stiff. You afraid now? Just let it wash over you. Don't fight it. You're so close to the end. I wonder how you might have molded the Mojave if you'd lived. I'm sure people will speculate to no end. They'll forget you, though. They always do. At this moment of acute reflection, I wonder if you appreciate the futility of your efforts. Your mentor is dead. Really dead. I'll face no legal or governmental consequences. Quite the contrary. I'll become a respected citizen, leaving this town while the worms gnaw on your rotting corpse. You remember that when the air thins out. If you could do it all over again, would you even come here? So much to ponder in the darkness. Rest easy. Close it up, boys. That's terrifying. Makes you almost think, would it have been better to not play the mod at all? Buried. 
Be a horrible way to go. Like, you can't dig your way out because then the dust fills the air. Yay, we're alive. Just read the first word. Forget the rest. Alive. <laughs> you emerge from a vivid nightmare, quickly sitting up in a strange bed. You notice a familiar face across from you. Thorn! Your hands throb as you begin to shift your weight, but you eventually struggle to your feet. Your legs wobble as you stand, and it becomes painfully apparent that you haven't recovered from your recent injuries. How you managed to survive your ordeal in the grave remains to be seen. Cooper. And the dead shall rise and walk the earth. I wasn't sure you'd make it. But here you are, on your feet no less. How did I end up in here? Track Mark on his boys after what happened in town. It's all the maimed to bury you alive, so I watched and waited. Marco cleared out and left a pair of men behind, so I slipped in, took them down with a flashbang and a few smacks with my baton. Then I went digging as fast as possible, found you unconscious but breathing. Lucky for you, that doc had some blood in his stores. I managed to get you up here in the dark. Got that blood in you, then patched you up your hands. You're damn lucky you know that. You know what? I forgive you for killing those outlaws, Thorn. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm really glad that. So he was one of the bounty hunters, but he didn't go along with them because he was his own person, essentially. Yeah. The treatment you mentioned requires some skill. Where did you learn to practice medicine? The followers of the apocalypse. I was a physician for a time. Enjoyed helping people. That was all I wanted to do as a young man. But when you see good people get hurt and nothing's done... Nothing changes. It can move you to action. I thought I could make things right. That's why I hunted men down for so long. It was never about money. Everyone I gunned down was a tiny piece of justice for what lost. You do it for enough time, you stop seeing them as men. They're everything you hate. Everything you fear. Personified. Maybe I could go back to the followers. Start practicing again somewhere. Start over. I'm done killing, though. That I could promise you. Why aren't you running with the other bounty hunters? I'm done hunting anyone or anything. What they did, it was simple butchery. God help me. I'll never forget it. The hell of bounty hunters. Why did you help me? I knew something was going down when Brookshire pulled us aside before the op. Told everyone there would be bounties on the townspeople. He told us to keep our mouths shut and follow Marco's lead. When the time came, most everyone nodded and smiled didn't even question him. I had no loyalty to Randall, but it bothered me regardless. Brookshire told us to round up everyone in town that he would handle you. I didn't know what they had in store. I mean, I thought they'd capture everyone and haul them back for a trial. That's what they're supposed to do. I also didn't know that Brookshire would trade you and Randall out. I thought he would just tell you to fuck off in a typical NCR fashion. See, they had me posted at the church, waiting with a rifle, in case you tried anything. I had a clear view of everything, that's for sure. I didn't know they'd kill them all right there. Let Marco kill Randall? I should have done something, but I just... I just froze. Marco was in the crosshairs, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was... I was scared. Goddamn shameful fucking coward. That's what I am. Uh, do you I want mean, to do medicine or the first one? Well, oh look, okay, he could have stopped it. So yes, he is a coward. And that is a shameful thing he did by letting that transpire. Mm -hmm. However, a coward can be forgiven. And saving us is a step towards that. Yeah, and also he could have been set upon by everyone else. You know? Yeah, I mean, he might have, he probably would have died. He killed one of them, the rest of them start firing at him, you know? Yeah. Uh, I guess medicine. You're clearly suffering from post traumatic stress. It will take time to move past this. Physician, heal thyself, huh? Yeah, you might be right. I just, I don't want to talk about it, okay? It's all what happened. No use dwelling now. Where's Marco? He left town to bury Randall's body. 
He must have thought pretty highly of him, because the rest were buried in a mass grave. When I last went into town to nab supplies, I saw most of the hunters were living it up in the saloon. Ford was with them. Look, I want to leave this place and never look back. I'm making straight for my hobby, so you're welcome to join me. I'm not going anywhere until I wreck him with Marco. Yeah, we actually have the choice to just leave broken and shattered, but we're definitely going to get retribution, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Burning your boats on the shore, huh? Look, if this is how you want to play it, I'll respect your decision. I can't help you, but I'll wait here. You'll surprise them. They'll probably panic. Don't expect Marco to go easy, though. You're walking wounded. Won't be healed for weeks, at least. Marco won't take any chances this time. He'll kill you. Come with me and you can recover, gather resources, and come back later when you'll be on an even footing. What do you say? You want to live to fight another day? Oh, crap. So we really do have the choice to leave, and we might have the option to come back. I owe it to Randall to at least try. Deaths to a dead man will just get you killed for nothing. There's nothing left here for you but regret. You can still help people in the Mojave. I won't stop you, but I won't leave you either. I'll wait here for a day or two. If you don't come back, I'll just assume the worst and move on. Mangled, your agility, endurance, and strength have all decreased due to injuries inflicted by Marco. In likelihood, you will not recover from these wounds until you return to the Mojave Wasteland. I Honestly, do. I think it would be cool if we were like legitimately scarred for the rest of the game after that. Yeah, do you want to check out check out our stats? I want to see how much it reduced it to. Um, we we're down to nine perception, endurance, and agility. <laughs> we're only down one. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Okay, well, let's go. Screw this, I'm gonna go kill him. Alright. And we're gonna go kill Ford, too. Oh yeah, our arms are all bruised. And bloody. Cooper's still with us. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna wait here. Alright, let's go. We still have all our weapons, right? Yes. He didn't even take our weapons. Well, he uh, he crippled our hands so we couldn't draw. Oh, okay. Remember? Well, screw it. Let's go kill them all. Yeah. That is not cool. You know, Ford? Ford is dead to me now. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to go kill him. I can't believe- asshole. I cannot believe he just- He took his back part in a room. massacre- he didn't kill Stephen Randall himself, but he might as well have. Mm -hmm. Marco's going to suffer even more, but uh, these guys, I can't. I trusted you. I trust you. Go into the saloon and kill everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Like, yeah. They are gonna die. Every single one of them. We gotta look around for Ford's body. 
Yeah, we were so on drugs, couldn't even see which one was which. <gasps> you! Oh, hell no, you ain't walking out of here alive. Monster. Thin red paste. You know what? <laughs> 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 yeah, take that. I ate your heart. Well, an artery. Uh. Wait, okay. wait. We have important business. Crap, it killed Al. Sorry, Al. Okay. We might have killed him. No, 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 no. He was already dead. They killed the entire town. All right, oh, the oh, yeah, yeah. They, they probably killed him first. Yeah, because he was in the saloon. I just wanted to mangle their bodies. Revenge, okay, you know. Let's go. They, they mangled us, we mangled them. <laughs> let's go and kill that fucker. We're going to go kill Marco. Ford, thank you for coming forward and, and arranging our meeting. Arranging our meeting. He was the one... Who came up with it. Yeah. I understand your frustration with Mr. Randall, who has never taken you seriously as a bounty hunter. Because you don't get deserve to get taken seriously, because you're a piece of shit. If you are willing to assist the NCR in pacifying Frost Hill, I will personally recommend you for a leadership position. You will soon have the dignity and deference that was so briskly denied by Randall for so long. The man is a backwards bully who will never appreciate the benefits of the NCR. As a fellow patriot, I know I can count on you. Good luck. Sincerely, Brookshire. Oh. Ford. I'm going to bury Randall myself, so I'm counting on you to keep that crew under control until the other half of Brookshire's bounty gets here. They can get loose for a few days, but don't let them vandalize the shops or any other property. Miners and settlers will be making their way into town soon, and I don't want to waste resources cleaning up the place. Python has agreed to hire all of the hunters to act as temporary security until things are stabilized. With Clanton out of the picture, this means we'll have to keep pressure on the ADs to the north. It also means there's big potential for added income. You showed me something, and I have high hopes for you here. Randall didn't recognize your potential, but I do. Stay focused and you'll go far. Marco. P.S. If there's any sort of emergency, send a runner to the old graveyard. Well, we're gonna go fucking murder you, Marco. Old graveyard, here we come. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, that's the same crap that he told every one of his lieutenants, of his gang members that we just killed in yeah. the bounties, you know? What makes you think you're going to be any different? Yeah. This town trusted him, and he just killed them all. We tried to warn them, yeah, and he just killed them all. So what makes you bounty hunters forward? What makes you think it's going to go any differently? Brookshire? I mean, Brookshire is just greedy. He just did it because he gave him a pile of silver and paid him off. And also, NCR would get Frosthill. Well, that's his goal, but he's, this is obviously not legal. The NCR would not stand for this on principle. Yeah. But Brookshire is a corrupt politician who looks the other way. I can't wait to go kill Marco. Are we heading in the right direction? Yeah. What if he had a backup plan in case burying us alive didn't work? Possibly but we're killing him with a sweet revenge. Yeah. With Randall's pistol. Oh, wait. We went the wrong way. Yes, we did. Whoops. <laughs> we can fast travel to that house right under it. It's fine. We're like right next to it. Okay. I kind of, kind of broke the, the 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 tension right there. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like you're all cool and everything. And you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go get some rich puce. Gonna get my vengeance on that guy. Hold on, let me check my map. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yep. Okay, over <laughs> there. Okay, I'm gonna go get my revenge. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, we're gonna go kill Marco. So it's like like imagine like one of those like cool guys with the sunglasses walking away from the explosion. Like the explosion goes off and there's fire up behind him. He's like, Oh wait, I parked over there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Crap, all our drugs are wearing off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again. Of course it would be this, my or mortal enemy. This piece of geometry. <laughs> So this whole thing is optional. We don't even have to go after Marco and the bounty hunters if we don't want to. I mean, I think it's the intended ending. The optional thing is giving up. I, and I think the, the idea is like you're so psychologically damaged that you have to give up. But we're not going to. I mean, you don't have to, but you could. Maybe we should wait till daytime. We can't. We have two days to solve this. We have to do it now. Okay, the then can we put some night vision on? I don't know. We're not really supposed to. What do you mean we're not supposed to? Look, we went to Brookshire in the day, but then it captured us and we woke up at night. Okay. This is intended by the mod, but fine. I put some... Put some Randall light. gave us some cat eye, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe they did intend to use some cat eye. Ah, drugs. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just last a little bit longer. Well, you know there's probably going to be conversation. Oh, my goodness. Oh, are this th is the graveyard. Are these people, like, how many of them were Marco's kills? Oh, my goodness. I, don't I had know. no idea the graveyard would be so large. How in the... I should have known. I deliberately provided simple instructions, yet people can't manage if I'm not supervising. I do hate leadership at times. There's no way you can be healed up. Why even come here? You can't win this fight. You're broken and alone. You lost. You could have walked out of this canyon and I'd never have given you a second thought. Apparently, I'm just not good at vengeance. You killed my brother, so I maimed and humiliated you, then slaughtered a town and forced you to watch. That's more or less even, right? I know you're anxious to spew some venomous diatribe, but permit me a moment. Let's say that a miracle occurs and you killed me. You limp back to the Mojave with a broken body, your myth shattered. People will only remember your failings. They're just lousy that way. They won't talk about how you killed me. They'll mock you for getting captured and allowing the town to get butchered. You had a good thing in the Mojave. You should have stayed there. Quite a stage we have here, huh? Audience of dead men. Go ahead, tell me how I'm destined for the infernal reaches or all manner of mutilation. I'm sure it will be very bold and original. If we were ever going to pick this option, I think now is the time. But we should tell them that we took care of Ford and the other hunters. I think this is more poetic. Ugh. I took care of Ford and the other hunters. Looks like you're alone, too. Ford was a parasite, the lowest form of man. Unable to stand on his own, forge his own path. He could only leech off the energy of others. At least you're Randall lying. had purpose and guts. Once the hunters were paid and gone, I was going to personally cut Ford's throat. So thanks. As for being alone, that's how it's always been. Anyone who's honest knows that's what life is. It's a slow, lonely stroll through hell. Only person I ever cared about was my brother, and you took it upon yourself to snuff him out for a greasy wad of caps. This is how it should be. I'm ready, courier. Can we do it now? 
Yes, all right. Remain silent. So this is the culmination of my career. A climactic contest with an intellectual insect. Drop the silent act, okay? No? Okay. Stare off. <laughs> Remain silent. He stares intently. <laughs> okay, that did not go the way I thought it would. I, th I just, I was imagining, you know, he's like all going on that whole thing and we just are silent and shoot him. Don't even say a word, mm -hmm. you know. Because, I mean, okay, response time. I think he gives humanity too little credit. I get a lot of us are messed up, but we've done a lot of good things. Don't think that you're going to stain our legend. Well, even if you stain it, it's not going to break our legend. Mm -hmm. If you had killed us, that'd be the way it ended. That would be quite a mark, but it didn't. We're going to go on and make more legends. Uh, no one's ever going to remember that he defeated us and that we let the town get It'll be a footnote. Yeah, exactly. He'll be a fucking footnote. And even if they do focus on the fact that we let the town get butchered, we don't care. We'll still know that we went and got revenge on him for that. You know? Okay, so we have only attack options. Which one do you want? Uh, crap. Which one do you want? They're all just kind of whatever. Okay. I've heard you jabber for long enough. Let's see if you're as good as they say. Come on, words are just fun. <sighs> well, if you insist. Do we have armor piercing rounds? No, just hollow point and regular. Usually hollow point's fine with this guy, we're not, but uh, I didn't think we were going to be going against someone like that. I mean, uh, see, I didn't think he was going to be so armored, but I guess I should have figured. Mm -hmm. We're going to need all of our drugs. Yep. Doesn't help that we're actually weaker than we normally are. Our stats reduced. Oh, critical hit did a lot. Yeah. Yeah! Oh my we god, got we did it. Only with the pistol. With Randall's gun. Revenge. We This weapon was specifically supposed to be used on Marco. Yeah. All right. We did it. We killed him. Let's go see Stephen's, uh, Randall's grave. We'll go put you on an unmarked grave. No one will even know who you were. <laughs> oh, poor Randall. What if... What if we gave him his gun back? Hmm? Okay. I mean, it's unique, but we don't have to use it. Nah, I need something to remember him by. Fair enough. And we did it. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's what he deserved. Yeah. Oh, that, I think that was very climactic. I feel uh, they had been leading up and hinting at Marco's existence for so long throughout this mod series that finally meeting him, we found out that all the rumors about how horrible he was were absolutely true. Mm -hmm. He lived up to expectation. And the plot twist of him being Virgil was brilliant. Yeah. 
and we got our retribution on them. Mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing the ending slideshow if it's not glitched out. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, wow, it actually matched for once. It did. Yeah, the bishops and then the bishop text. That's because uh, I actually uh, made a modification to the mod. Oh, okay. And it seems to be working. Wait, what? <laughs> how did you do it? Magic. No, tell me, how did you do it? Nope, you're going to have to figure it out. What? It's not really the time to bring it up. That's why I didn't say anything. We were all so consumed about Marco. Okay, fine. <laughs> but you have to tell me. I'd like to see if you can figure it out. I seriously don't know how you could do that. I edited the loading screen mod. I know you edited it, but how could you do that? With my awesome programming hacker skills. Oh, please. You don't even know how to use the gag. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not judging you. I'm just wondering how the hell you did it, because I couldn't. Okay, we got story stuff to go through. Fine. <laughs> yes? Marco's dead. Let's go. You did it. You actually did it. I didn't expect to see you again. So I hear the thinking how I'd break it to your people back in Vegas. Okay, let's go. Yep, let's go. And so it was that the clash between the courier and Marco had come to its conclusion. Their actions had reshaped Frost Hill and irrevocably changed the fortunes of numerous inhabitants. Shortly before the massacre at Frost Hill, an argument between Cocker and Cuddy resulted in Cuddy actually walking the fuck out the door. Cocker insisted on following Cuddy as he walked out of the Deep Creek Mountains, berating him the entire time. This continued for several weeks until Cuddy walked to an NCR recruiting station and enlisted to spite Cocker. Undeterred, Cocker enlisted beside his friend and immediately volunteered for frontline duty. Insistent that Cocker was in fact a pussy, Cuddy volunteered for the same. Thanks to the courier's largesse, Dana was able to retain ownership of the family farm. In time, she managed to salvage their fortunes. She eventually made a deal to sell produce and livestock to the Crimson Caravan, ensuring stable income for her foreseeable future. Forsaking his criminal past, Doolin quietly headed west and reunited with his relatives on the family farm. While there was always some distance between Doolin and his kin, he eventually found peace through steady, honest industry. He often wondered what became of the courier who had shown mercy when there was no reason to give it. Doolin died in his sleep several decades later. Unshackled from his psychological bonds, Porter sought out other super mutants who aspired to live in peace. He made his way to Jacobstown, where he hoped to begin a new life herding livestock and assisting other super mutants who had lost their way. Petrified by a courier's mere presence, Lee hastily departed for the NCR under a new alias. Fearful of incurring the courier's wrath, Lee became a librarian in a small town. He never raised his hand in violence again. Having ceased his campaign against the NCR, Godwin turned his inventive energies into other endeavors around the ranch. With a collection of improvised contraptions and a steady source of power, Godwin's ranch burgeoned into a major supplier of bighorner meat. Frost continued to move from town to town, always vigilant against the threat of assassination. Eventually, he headed towards the Great Plains, and he was never seen again. Ford's dream of becoming a wasteland legend died with him in Frost Hill when he met the Courier's Wrath. 
In the final seconds before he died, Ford had hoped he'd earn his own chapter in the next dime novel about the courier. Like the courier, Cooper survived the ordeal of near death and became closer to his new master as a result. He followed the courier to the Mojave, determined to remain a loyal companion no matter the end. Just north of Mojave, Thorn said his goodbyes to the courier and headed towards the setting sun. Taking the courier's guidance to heart, Thorn headed back to Hayfork, enjoyed a cathartic reunion with his relatives. Soon thereafter, Thorn married and established a medical practice, serving the community of Hayfork for generations. Thanks to the support of his family, Thorne was able to move past the events at Frost Hill. He prayed that the courier would do the same. Fresh off his successful operation to annex the Deep Creek Mountains, Brookshire was warmly received by his superiors at the NCR Embassy. After he ferried the surviving orphans of Frost Hill to state homes, Brookshire quietly filed a report that classified the courier as MIA. For his efforts, he was awarded with a promotion and a special commendation. His agency's director would call him a model for us all. Brookshire then planned his next operation from within the embassy, confident of his success, never considering that the courier might return. In spite of his best efforts to evade the courier, Glanton finally met his end deep inside Knife Point Cavern. Glanton's surviving supporters hailed him as a martyr, and soon hunted the courier in a quest for retribution. In the end, Marco was undone by the very trait he so often touted, resolve. The courier persevered through pain and death in order to claim victory. Without his strong leadership, the NCR outpost at Frostal floundered. Once the 80s resumed their raids, the town was abandoned. Even after his death, Marco's name incurred fear and dread whenever it was muttered. His body had perished, but the legend endured. Despite Marco's best laid plans, the courier battled back from the brink of death and prevailed in the legendary duel. Though Marco was dead, the courier had not emerged from the contest unscathed. She would bear physical and mental scars for the rest of her life. Quietly enduring her injuries, she steadily limped back to the Mojave Wasteland where uncertainty and war awaited her. Uh, so where are we? Oh, we're right at... Though you've recovered during your trip, your hands are now permanently scarred from gunshot wounds. As a result, your rate of fire and draw speed will suffer, but you'll deal more damage. Okay, that is cool. Yeah. I really like it because it, it really adds some permanence to what we've gone through. We can't simply forget about it. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Cooper, you followed us. Randall's dog. I care about you a lot more now. Okay, uh, let's go to the NCR at Bissy. Uh, we, we, we could try. I was definitely thinking about that. Get yes. revenge on Brookshire. But um, we don't know if he's in the Mojave, the Vegas NCR embassy. I know, but I want to check. Okay, I just want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I want to murder his face. I just wanted to see if uh, you could actually see the... Uh... I don't think you can see the scar, and that's why they added the perk. Oh, I think it would have been cool if they had... Uh... Yeah, but I think that's really difficult to add a scar into the, you know, any body model that the player might be using. If anyone could do it, they could. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, then it's not possible. I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, let's let's go to the NCR embassy. This is Marco's gun. <gasps> let's kill Berkshire with Marco's. No, nah. Let's go with Randall's. Yeah. All right. I really hope we can murder him because he deserves it. Yeah. Can you believe he got a commendation? Yeah, he was commended for his efforts. Like, they didn't really find out what happened at all. Uh, we, I think we'll have to wait till daytime when they're actually open. That's fine. I just want to talk. <laughs> uh, 
I hope the drug's wearing off. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go see if he's in any of these buildings. I mean, we... I think we got a good ending. It's just, it's weird because usually it's very easy to tell when you get a good ending. But this ending instead was... This ending instead was, like, some people survived, some people didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Glanton, I told you, Glanton's ending was really, uh... Because <sighs> we get, we have, he's a martyr now, people are coming after us. It's like, whoever's coming after us, they're idiots. Mm -hmm. Because Glan was horrible. Oh, this is the embassy. Hell yeah, where the hell is this fucker? I really hope he's in here. We're just looking around with our gun out. <laughs> yeah, Being here's, like, here's Ambassador Crocker, one of the few good NCR uh, leaders. Yeah. It's too bad he's outranked. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. NCR should take this chance now that Mr. House is out of the way. Where is he? Let's see if there's Where another is office that fucker? here. <gasps> Hi, Brookshire. You. He is. No. No goddamn way. <laughs> now, no, no, no. Before you do anything rash, think about where we are and who I am. <laughs> There will be consequences if you lose your cool. There are big things about to happen, and I'll have a hand in them. Things that could change this war. I could get you on board. Set you for life. <laughs> what kind of things? We're planning something that could end this war. Hits the Legion in their own backyard. You could be the instrument of our victory. The Legion is doing their best to suppress it, but we believe there's a slave rebellion going on right now, outside Flagstaff. Let me go, and I promise you a spot in the most audacious covert operation ever attempted. Do we have a deal? Do you possibly expect me to believe you? Yeah, we don't even have the option to accept it. We don't. Look. Yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Why did you do it? You think it was easy? Cutting a deal with a purported psychopath, letting a town get wiped out? It wasn't. But I did what was best for the NCR. Bullshit. You did what was We're best for you. We're fighting a war. Wars cost money. Since the Brotherhood zapped our gold, we've been scrambling for precious metals. There's probably more silver up in there than in ten silver woods. Do you know how many weapons that'll buy? How many troopers it'll save? I would have sacrificed a division if it meant holding those mountains, even if it was just a trading outpost. Giving up you and Randall wasn't a choice, it was an obligation. Oh, you tell yourself that so you can sleep at night. But as long as anything possibly justifies the war, it's okay for you. The ends justify the means, don't give me that crap. I really, really want to kill him. But we are in an NCR embassy. Maybe we should say walk out of here and never come back and then follow him and then kill him. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Walk out of here and never come back. A wise decision. You'll never see me again. Oh, we can't. Ah, he, he, damn he, it. He evades us. So you want to kill him? Yes! Okay. Because I think that's a good idea because he's like slippery, you know? He'll just go to another NCR embassy somewhere or another uh, another NCR uh, location, but go back to the mainland, you know, and he'll just cause more mayhem. We we are fighting a war for the NCR. We don't want him on our side. Mm -hmm. let's, let's wait. Maybe he'll get up and go. Crap. I think maybe we can. Wait until it's like nighttime or something. Yeah, when all the, everyone goes to sleep. Yeah, we're gonna have to be stealthy about this, but we want 
to murder this fucker. No, it's not murder. It's retribution. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Ah, he has a soldier sitting right next to him. Oh, he's going. Okay, you know, way over here, Cooper. Just get the soldiers out of the room. Hold on. They're walking. They're going. Oh, he's going. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> well, let's drag him to an empty room where we can close the door. Uh, we don't really have a silenced weapon. We have a melee, though. Mm-hmm. Eh. Let's just hope no one hears us. Okay. Let's use a, uh, let's use a stealth boy, too. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do that one? No, let's, let's do this one. Okay. You broke your word and you left an entire town to be butchered. You're finished. No, you can't do this! Whoa! 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 Self-defense. Nope, 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 nope. Oh crap, he's tough. There we go. Headshot. And we didn't even Oh crap, we got NCR infamy. No, we we, we did? Yeah, we did. Well, it didn't, it wasn't even enough to actually affect us, and only this one guy saw us, so let's just try again. Okay. Maybe uh try to move them out of this room too, so there's nothing. Yeah. Cause um I mean, technically, like, we got infamy, which means that our our fame is not perfect, but it wasn't actually enough to knock us down a level, mm -hmm. essentially. So if, if we do get infamy for this, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care either. I mean, we'll try to prevent it, but... Yeah, yeah. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. He's gonna... sitting down though, won't that break him? Yeah, I don't care. Just get out. There. Private Jake Irwin. What mod are you from? <laughs> I won't be missing Mr. House. That's a given. The strip's better off without him. They're talking about trying to radio. What? Watch out! Ah, we did it. Ah. Damn it, we still got NCR infamy. What's a good way to kill someone without getting infamy? I forgot. It's been so long. I don't know. Grenade in the pocket? Would that work? Oh, that might work. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. So you know what we do? We put a grenade in his pocket, then we talk to him. Mm, okay. Let's try that. They're talking about you on the radio, saving President Kimball. I'm impressed. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, get out of here. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Ah, you got caught. We gotta, we gotta be able to do something. I, I think we can do it. We are just detected by him. But we don't really have a grenade. and No, we were considered hidden. We were trying to do a bottle cap mine. But still. 
Okay, what if we just lay down a bottle cap mine when we put them in there? I'm not sure. That will probably get us some infamy. If we lose Hoover Dam, we can kiss Nevada goodbye. I'm just gonna try it. Because I don't really know what else we can try at this point. I just tried the, gr the grenade in the pants thing, it didn't work. Why are there three people here now? They're talking about you on the radio, saving President Kimball. I'm impressed. Thank you. Now, please excuse us while we mi uh, murder one of your high ranking officials. Mm -hmm. Sorry, retribution. Whatever. It was a matter of time before someone got to Mr. House. Watch oh. out! Oh, that didn't give us any infamy. We died, though. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't give us infamy, though. So that's a start. Didn't think this would be so difficult. <laughs> this is why, I mean, we're really supposed to let them walk away, but that's just not Smart good move enough. for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. I won't with. be missing Mr. House. That's a given. The Strip's better off without him. That's not true. We'd be better off with him. I hate that you guys made us kill him. I mean, NCR really is a bunch of snakes. It's just, turns out snakes are the best parents we got. Mm-hmm. There's one guy in the corner there, I think, on the left, or next to the pool table. Oh. It was a matter of time before someone got to Mr. House. At this rate, one Securitron is going to be enough to defend the I whole strip. I missing Mr. House, that's a given. The strip's better off without him. I do think we sh should still try to talk to him if possible. Yeah. It wasn't. Oh we no. We killed him though. Oh, we still got infamy. We did. Damn it. Yeah. Ah. Do you want to just accept it? No, I really don't want to lower oh, our rank. Cooper's Watch killing out. them all. Yeah. I mean, the only other thing I can see is enslaving him and then, like, taking him with us and killing him. That might work, yeah. We're going through r real extremes to make this happen. You know that, right? I don't care. It's not fair that the NCR are attacks us for killing a corrupt official. He should be sentenced to death anyway. I won't be missing Mr. House. That's a given. The strip's better off without him. What'd you do? You got caught. I know, I just wanted to see what would happen. Murder! Ah, just it is worth a try. Oh well, yeah, we can just enslave him and then take him with us. Actually, I don't think we even have to do that. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, we could. Move for the Turns out back we can't down. kill him. I not because I would want him, but you know that'd be a way of keeping him alive and keeping him out of harm's way. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to. They didn't know who they were messing with. NCR should. We could just not take three chance now that Mr. House other slaves. <laughs> we could just like put them in a hole somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. 
If he attacks us, then the whole uh, embassy attacks us, right? I, I think so. We gotta get a collar too. Do this. Mm -hmm. We're going to go kill that fucker no matter what it takes. <laughs> The stealth in this game is just stupid <laughs> sometimes, I swear. Because, like, well, you can be completely hidden, but it doesn't matter. They'll just immediately detect you. Well, yeah, but... Ah, uh, it keeps triggering our flashlight for some reason. But I think I think the intention is you're really supposed to just accept getting the infamy when you kill an NCR official. We're just trying to find a way around it. Well, yeah, because it's stupid. Well, we should be able to report him to the NCR and get him tried and kill him with us as a witness to everything that happened. Or we should at least be Help able... You. Like, if we kill him stealthily, how do they know that there's infamy, you know? Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. It's like we should be able to... If we... No one knows that we killed him. If we're in complete stealth, then they shouldn't be able to psychically find out it was us. Careful. Watch out! Watch out! They heard that, but we didn't get any infamy. This guy, wait. Yeah. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Did you knock him out? Yeah. If they're still hostile when they get up, usually I just knock them out again. Okay. Yeah, I could probably give him a grenade now. <laughs> <laughs> that might work. <laughs> if we lose Hoover Dam, we can now, kiss just take about a goodbye. Elsewhere. Yeah. Besides, he deserves to die in a hole. Ooh, you want to take him to the uh, Good Springs to that grave? No, let's take him to Randall and Associates. We can't go back there, though. Why not? Oh, you mean the one here in the Mojave? Yep. Okay. And if you want, we can all... Even uh, probably access his regular dialogue options before we kill him. All right. What quest are we on anyway? I don't know. I doubt killing Brookshire is a part of any of the quests. It's just an alternate oh, thing you can do. Oh, it's just the slave thing. Yeah. Yeah, because the quest is done. We're done with Bounties 3, but maybe there'll be some encounters here and there. Yeah. Okay, so... 
brand. Okay. No. No goddamn way. Now, no, 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 before you do anything rash, think about where we are. There are big things about to happen, and I... Say whichever one you want. You can say the same one or a different one. Uh, uh, the second one's fine. You broke your word and you left an entire town to be butchered. You're finished. No, you can't do this! Yes, I can, and I will, you fucker. Crap. Uh, There's no avoiding it. Okay. Unless, I guess we could just console command, but that's kind of cheating. <sighs> Will we ever be able to get a, a get it more than that? No, it's a permanent mark. Ugh, crap. Oh well, good nature rascals to the NCR. That's fine because sometimes NCR you're you're awful. So I guess that's fine. I want to kill him. So man, I really tried to. Yeah, I know. Let's check the note. Maybe, uh, no, I, I don't know what we can do. Yeah, I don't think there is. It's annoying and stupid, but. First, congratulations on your promotion. I told you that good things would come if you merely placed your trust in the organization. You've done a great service for us and our client, Python Mining. That's They worked with Marco. So consider the pay raise a first step in a long and lucrative partnership. I do have one quibble, however. There are conflicting reports surrounding Nuclear Star's demise. I want proof of death, not mere assurances. That one uh, that one has slipped from death's grasp too many times to be underestimated, even by Marco. Once Nuclear Star's death is verified, you can expect payment commensurate with your efforts. The Syndicate will be in your debt. I thought we destroyed the Syndicate. Sincerely, K. We destroyed this the syndicate that was here in the Mojave. Okay, because when they said K, I thought that meant Kimball. What? No. Okay. So, yeah, he had ties to the syndicate, which I thought we had destroyed, but apparently there's still some left. Mm hmm Okay, well. We killed him. I don't care about the infamy. I think I think we'll just have to live with it. Mm-hmm. I, I know, if we were going to do this, I wish we had just killed him in the embassy then. But, uh, because this was a bit of a stretch. But, you know, kind of poetic in its own way. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. We tried. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess this is Supermod Fallout. I'm Kyle. I'm Kira. Bye. Bye.